What's going on? Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to carry on what I did in the last video, talking about upload vulnerabilities and how to bypass file upload filters. So in this video, so in the last video, we have gone over an insecure site as uh, in task four and task five, and we have bypassed basic client side filter in task seven. In task eight and task nine, we will bypass a more complicated filter which is implemented and deployed on the back end or on the server side. Normally, when the filter is implemented on the server side, we can't know anything about the code, how the filter is uh, taking place or how it is, wor how it is working. So, uh, first, we're going to bypass server side filter that's based on file extensions and server side filter based on magic numbers. Okay, so let's start with the file extension filter. So this is the interface here. And as you can see, we select the file, upload it, and see if it's accepted or not. Now, basically, let's do an example. So um, in order to understand how this works, we have to try, we have to get into a series of trials and errors. So basically, because we know nothing about the code, because we know nothing about the code that is filtering the extensions. So we have to try. So we type select, select a basic image, see if it's going to be accepted, upload. And as you can see, PNG are accepted, successfully accepted, right? Uh, now, what about other files like PHP? Let's try, select. Uh, let me change that to PHP. Get back. Oh. So a PHP file. File type is invalid. So PHP is not allowed, right? Now, how can we bypass this since we know nothing about the filter? By the way, if we run, if you run a uh, GoBuster, you will find that the upload directory is called privacy. So these are my uh, shells, okay? As you can see in this, in this directory, we have the files that we upload. And last, the last file that we have just uploaded was mountains.png. As you can see, date is appended to the uh, prepended to the name of the file. Now, if we try something else like GPG, we don't have one. We don't need to do that, actually. We know we first we have to determine what is an acceptable format. Now, PNG is an acceptable format. PHP is not. So basically, the uh, back-end filter is using some kind of blacklist or a whitelist, one of them. Uh, how can we find out? We have to proceed in trying. Now, if you get back to the hints, click on hint. The hint saying, commands do not start with dash. Use the word itself. So this is a hint that an acceptable format, okay, is dash. That's why if we rename this to dash, instead of PHP, we type dash, and here we type shell2. When we get back, select the file, and then we upload. As you can see, the upload is successful. We navigate to the upload directory, privacy. We see here it has been indeed uploaded. Now, what do we do next? We can just try to trick the filter, just like PHP. And then the filter only looks for one dot after the file name and inspects the extension after only one dot. It's going to be uh, successfully uploaded. But if the filter just looks for the not only the first dot, but all the dots, and if it finds an extension that is in the blacklist, it's going to block that. So 
basically this will not be successful since the filter will look for the first dot and the second dot. It's going to find PHP, PHP in the blacklist, which won't accept it. How do we proceed about this? If we type PHP 5, and PHP 5 is an acceptable extension, right, in PHP. Now, if we get back and type select, now why do we type 5? We just want to tick the filter that extension or the file doesn't have an extension that is included in the blacklist. By telling PHP 5, PHP 5 is not in the blacklist, while PHP is in the blacklist. So at the same time, PHP 5 is still acceptable format for PHP to be executed. I'm going to select that, upload, and the upload will be successful. So if we navigate now to privacy, and I click on the file, as you can see, it says connection refused because this is a reverse shell and I haven't activated my listener. So I'm going to get back to here, work up to five, and then refresh the page. See, I received now a reverse shell. So this is the reverse shell, and we have bypassed the first filter. The flag, cd bar, da, da, da. This is the flag. Okay, that was for the first one. What about the next one? In task nine. Task nine, it uses the concept of magic filters to upload the file. I'm gonna explain that. So this is the first shell. I'm gonna hit Control C and proceed. Now, magic numbers are another way to filter for file extensions and to tell the behavior of the file. For example, if I type sudo, uh, no, Excel dash n two five six shell. See, this is a PHP file, right? Uh, no file shell. Wait, this is a GIF file. Okay, let's talk about um, dash n two five six. PHP shell. See, this is hexadecimal represent representation of the file. As you can see, we have these magic numbers. Starts from here, yeah. These magic numbers represent PHP files. Now, if I want, or the or the fil the filter, the the file filter or the upload filter will look for, uh, will look in the magic numbers, and if the magic numbers match. An acceptable format it's going to say okay you can upload the file if the magic numbers don't correspond to an acceptable format it's gonna sort the upload so if we go now to the example here as you can see it's saying select file we're going to select file png for example upload it's saying gifs please so the only acceptable format is gif and here the folder is Yes, whitelist, but it whitelists only the magic numbers of a GIFs. Now, if we um, use directory buster, we're going to find that the upload directory is graphics. You don't have permission? Yes, because uh, the uh, it doesn't allow for directory browsing. So this is the file upload uh, directory path. So one way to trick the uh, file filter or the upload filter into thinking that this PSP file is actually um, a GIF file, we're going to have to change this into what? Into a magic number of a GIF. The first thing we do, we just open the file, the PSP file, And here we type some characters, PPs. Okay. Now open the file with a hex editor, like hex edit. See, now we're gonna have to change these magic numbers. Okay. These magic numbers correspond to PHP file. 
Now, if we change these to a GIF magic number, we're going to turn the file or into a magic number file or to a GIF file. Of course, it's going to it's going to be still valid PHP file. So let's go to and this is the magic number for a GIF. We're going to change that to this number. So here for seven, no, for seven, right? Four seven four nine four six, no, four nine four six. Three seven three eight three seven sixty one eight seven sixty one. Now hit control X, save the changes, done. Now let's examine the or let's make sure the file has already has indeed been turned into a GIF file file PHP. So it's saying GIF image data. Let's open the file to make sure it's still intact, PHP-wise, or the code is still intact. Uh, okay. One thing to do here is to just make this like that. Okay. Because this messes up the PHP code. So we have to hit. Still make sure the file is GIF. Yes, it's still GIF. Let's upload the file, hit the listener on. Now, okay, select file. As you can see, blatantly, I'm going to select um, PSP file. Upload. Successfully uploaded. Let's navigate to that file. Graphics. PHP. Uh, shell. Oh, the name is hard. Rename. Oh, actually, I think I need to rename this to PHP. Okay, now and upload back. Select. You can play with the extension however you want. You can just put it back to GIF, it doesn't matter. But it could it must be PHP to be able to execute the reverse job. Successfully uploaded. Graphics PHP shell PHP. No? Shell two. What's happening, yeah? PHP shell two. Not found. <laughs> okay, rename this to three. All right. PHP shell three. I'm not gonna tell me not found now, right? Okay, let's check. Indeed, a reverse shell. CD bar at the top. Let's cat flag. And this is your flag. And by the way, there are no walkthroughs for the server on the internet. So I hope this will be helpful for you guys. Okay. So this is done. Now in the last video, we're going to do the challenge here. And the challenge sums up all of the bypass techniques we have gone through so far. Okay. So that's for now. And see you in the next video.